Yeah, boss, we got big problems. You better call that robot that spot show. It's that uh, spot bot.
So, in the process of unloading, um, we kind of overlooked... I don't know how to operate this piece of machinery. I kind of know a little bit of things of what you're supposed to do, how to lift the buggy, pin them, unpin them, but I was all worried about doing other stuff, so I kind of lost track, and uh, I guess we both forgot the buggy on the back has to be lifted up, and it has to be pinned for it to come off the trailer, and uh, or that something like that could happen. So it caught the cross rail that keeps the ra- the ramps at the right distance so they don't jump around. So I did just hook that, and then it grabbed it. There was no damage to the buggy, but I just bent that bar. And that was it. Thank God. don't look like the other. Where's your leg? Man, this truck is hard on D-signs. You can see the scar from last time. This rod broke and it was rubbing up there because the sign came down, bent the rod out into the back of the sleeper. And that's somewhere on the highway, I guess.
Oh, I got splash all over it. It's screen all dirty. Probably all piss slash hay coming in the truck stop. All right, Greg. Put it in, it didn't make a difference. So, we got a 25. Yeah, 25 won't work either. All right, we went and bummed a fuse. It's all fixed. Wait. That's see. When that buggy got caught, oh, bent that bar. No! Burr. Okay, marker lights are fixed. Look at that guy's got flicker problems. He's got truck problems. <laughs> and, uh,. Gregory's booster had one little marker out, so we fixed that marker. Then we fixed the strobe, and then um, one of the tail lights went out too. We we're like, holy oh, no, we fixed three lights, but the the tail light for the brake light is like a, it's got an issue with the ground. So I'm gonna follow him out of here and see if it uh, improves or not. I'm gonna go home. It's like only it's like minus. Two or three, but that wind makes it feel like it's minus 400. My hands are purple.
well done. Thank you, thank you. A little small hiccup there unloading. Wasn't paying attention, honestly. Um, the machine had no brakes, so I was winching it down. I was seeing it. I'm like, just take it easy. We're gonna pull the truck, because if you go too sudden, you're gonna skid my truck sideways into my trailer, which could have put on a set of chains, but I was like, uh, I'm lazy. So everything went good, but we, I didn't notice that they didn't put the buggy on the back. You gotta pin it up to load and unload, and you gotta put it down while you're hauling it because it's the highest point at the peak of that buggy. So, and I just, I was guiding them through the side window because visibility out of that machine when you're driving it is horrible. And then you gotta watch. We were a tad crooked, so I'm always worried about a derailment. And I was like, that would be no good. Don't want that to happen. So I'm watching the wheels on the tracks there in the yard. And then I looked to the back and I seen the, the buggy go whoop. I was like, oh no, and it ended up catching that uh, cross beam that holds the ramps at the right distance to be on the tracks, right? And it bent out of it, so minor. Nothing got broke, nothing got wrecked on the machine, which is great because that's supposedly a pretty expensive piece, even though I know it doesn't look like it's much, but supposedly they're like tens of thousands of dollars, so. I think it's not so much the metal work, it's just the electronics and stuff because that's what it accordions out and reads the track as the machine works. And then, uh, yeah, light issues. I had no markers this morning when I woke up, but I had brakes, signals, everything that I kind of needed to drive through the day. And then um, when I gave Greg back his booster there, one of the little rounds were out, so grab pigtail because it was rotted right off. But the, the boosters always just gets hammered all the time, right? So the wiring does get beat up. To fix that one, then he's like, oh, well, he had one uh, strobe that was out. So he's like, well, let's fix that one too. I'm like, all right, I'm freezing my butt off. But I'm a trooper, so we fix that. And then as soon as we fix that, another marker on the other side goes out and it ended up it's a bad ground or something and then by the time he was pulling out then he had two markers that just went downhill so hopefully he gets that figured out he's got to go to Kamloops it'll be warmer down there so he can fiddle around with it I'm gonna do paperwork then I gotta go home and try to I guess the hot water tank all of a sudden just stopped working and the wife said that the pilot light was out. Questionable. I'm not a plumber, but I'm kind of handy. So I'm going to try to see if I can just relight it and it goes back to working. I got another hot water tank in my basement that I have as a spare that was used that I picked up from. My nephew did a job. Said so they were just changing it out for the, for the heck of it. And like we go through a lot of hot water because of our outdoor hot tub and all that stuff the kids playing so I'm like well our hot tub's definitely been put to the test so do my paperwork go home download this onto the computer I guess upload and uh, we'll get to uh, yeah, work on it tomorrow maybe don't forget to subscribe We got another one of them weird looking trucks with the big roll on the back. And this one's got a square hood. It's pretty high up actually. It's uh, never heard of them. Maybe I've seen them around. Obviously uh, Northern Alberta 780. TriStar Contracting. TriStar, never heard of her. It's got that sweet single light action. Full bar, not bad. Uh, I don't know why people do that. Uh, guaranteed that from shifting side to side, it'll be on both sides. Numerous, those things need to be cut short. Maybe it's not what it is, but it's weird that it's always there. And this, this is a, uh, 
do believe a second gen or a first gen ISX. I couldn't tell you. Just said that in the report. It's not the original, it's a drop in. So yeah, it's a plain Jane truck, I think. Well, it's got full gauge instead of a touch screen, that's good. So the engine is pre-emissions, I know that for sure. Maybe EGR, probably deleted. I've never seen that style of roof before. But it's got the flaws. Uh, doesn't have a two-speed auxiliary. What kind of gears we got? Rub. <sighs> Where is it? Does it even say there? Not there? Over here? Not there. Damn it. I thought it said right there. I think there's supposed to be another sticker right here. And it's gone. What? Oh, it's got the big tanks, so that's a bonus for not me though. Sending it to Edson. No bad work here. Deca Industries, it's kind of cool. I like that. It's not bad. It needs some light upgrades. But I like the rounded edge for if you're a matting superstar, that's nice. Big boy fifth wheel with what kind of slide is that? Oh my lord. That's the style that locks on the bottom side. Looks like a pretty big gap from the wheel all the way back. It's gonna have a hard time pinning on to stuff. Those are gonna be slippery as think it's air. Must be air. They wouldn't be covering it all up if there wasn't air. It does have two positions, so that's good. Might be an alright truck. Another C5 for the crew in Edson. <laughs> Taking all the C5s. Oh well. Step for you. Right outside our yard, like if you're parked right on the corner. Nobody can get by. Just, just the shit. There's the card lock right there with all the room in the world, right where I fuel up all the time. They got this whole. Their yard is at the end of the halfway down the strip here. So I don't know why they all park here. Always making a move. Maybe you'll hit the ditch. Oh, he's got a headlight out. Maybe they're chaining up. Everybody chain up. Maybe it's pulling that guy out of the ditch. <laughs> 